opportunity. I wasn't going to kind of push myself or the state into this uh, issue, but we've been there for many years. So Jeff Ellington and I represent all of Van Buren and Indian Creek and parts of Perry. Uh, from the first, let me just say, I got involved in politics in 19, 1996 because there was county residents that wasn't getting representation and didn't have a voice. So everything I've done and continue to do is to give my district, county residents, a voice in every activity that affects you. And annexation is a large uh, footprint we have to go uh, I've got bills I've co-authored, I've got bills I've authored, but you gotta look at, uh, most people don't realize the makeup of Indiana, even though we have 71 Republican legislators, about 20 plus, plus of them really represent uh, highly dense populated urban areas that don't think like we think. So when we have bills to go through, I've been fighting cities and towns, uh, well since I've been as a county councilman here. It's really hard for me to get my bills out of the house when I have 20 some legislators on my side of the aisle that votes against me because their mayor um, that they represent tells them to vote against me. So I have an uphill battle, but we're making some progress. In 17, as you know, we put language in the budget. Uh, they didn't use all my language. If they would have used my language, it would have affected every city and town, wouldn't have had the court decision we had. But I'll take anything I can get. Anything I can get to slow that train down, I'm going to take it. I don't care how we get it. I've had legislation this last couple of years to kill involuntary annexation all across the state. It's not made it to a committee hearing, but I am not going to stop. When, when, the, when the city talks about, cities and towns talks about county residents receiving free city services, they are wrong. We work there, we pay taxes there, they collect that revenue per resident. Uh, they fight us, our county commissioners at a local level on trying to break out the income tax on an unfair advantage. We changed that law last session, two sessions ago I think it was. But it's still not good enough, the makeup's still not good enough, and we're going to continue to work on that. Um, city, sewer and water is not a city entity, that's a, that's a utility that's made up by ratepayers. I don't look at that as a city service. We all share in it because sewer and good water is a community benefit. It benefits all of us. Uh, so when they talk about you're receiving city services, well, if you are, you're paying for it. And you're paying more than the average city citizen does because of that, because we're outside. So I will continue to, to take legislation, but believe you have to wake up, you have to go door to door, and even though these, these petitions right now are not binding uh, for remonstrance, it's going to send a signal, like the county commissioner said, to the city uh, council that they have an uphill battle. And this is a battle we need to stand together with. It doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat, because this affects everyone. So my number is 812-327-8. 1-1-8. It's a very complex issue. 